Glenn, who is still on the come up. Um, you're you're going to be in a lot of these situations where you're not used uh, to making it this late in the bracket sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, there's inconsistencies, you mm -hmm. know, so definitely um, it's one of those things where, like I said, we grind a lot. So we're going to watch a lot of these matches. Um, and, you know, he'll come back stronger. So now we're going to get into losers finals here between Utopian Ray and Mr. L. I mean, all the things you were just saying about Glenn can actually be... The, the same thing can apply to Mr. L. I, I would say Glenn is a little bit more... You, you expect, like... You, you're not really as surprised by hearing about him in, in this stage of bracket. Whereas to Mr. L, I, he did get, I think, a fourth place finish at Mollywop recently. Okay. Um, but before that, he, he was always, like, the fifth, seventh place kind of guy. Like, never really right. making it much further than that. Like, he, he won a couple locals in, in the Rockland County region uh, when he traveled over there, but... Uh, the competition wasn't necessarily as fierce. Gotcha. I say, so. Chance for Rockland County. That's actually where my aunt and uncle live. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, they had a they had a tournament series go on there for about two months before the venue kind of got shut down for other reasons. That's uh, muy unfortunado. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate in fake Spanish for those of you who didn't know at home. But uh. anyway, so this matchup is this matchup is weird. Um, <laughs> When I initially, when the Sheikner first came out, I was of the people that believe you're going to see a lot more Mario and a lot less Rosalina. I'm kind of right in that regard because, uh, you know, there have Mario's been a lot more of a hotter commodity than Rosa has. But this matchup is, can get really bad for Mario. Wow. Um, just because of that, Rosalina, mm. uh, while she doesn't have like I want to say, she has a great disjointed hitbox in Luma, mm. <laughs> kind of sorta. Um, and Mario really struggles against characters where he gets outranged. Um, mm. You know, you see it all the time with characters like... Uh, Corrin. Yeah, like Corrin, <laughs> like Marth. Um, he gets a little bit of Ness Syndrome, but it's not as bad as a fighting as Ness gets it because uh, Mario can recover. Yeah. So he's, yeah, yeah, he, has sure. better, he has better vertical options. Yeah. Uh, His matchup spread in general is just a tad yeah. better, but he's, he still struggles, to say the least. Now, this match is either going to be you. over in eight seconds or it's going to be over in eight seconds. Um... Yeah, like it could be either one. I'm not sure how familiar Utopian Ray is with this. I, I would hope that uh, as a Rosa player, you know how to combat those heavyweights because this is like... Jeez Louise. Wow. <laughs> he just did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, who does that? Uh, that that was, was so <laughs> scary. <laughs> hey, unconventionality gets you third place or better in bracket. <laughs> Westchester's a weird bunch of dudes. All right, no, we, we definitely are. I, I will tell you that much. Some of, our, some of the options our players go for... <laughs> Gets that down there. <laughs> Rosa actually just got the Tims straight to the face. Dead ass. Just got stepped on. So great stuff there from, uh, from Mr. L. Uh, Dude, th there's this message that, that Metal pushes on us all the time because he plays Falcon and all he does is go for knees and up tilts yep. at the ledge. Like, like, it's all he does. He just goes for the stupidest things and it works. Like, he'll just go for random dash attacks. Like, something that's like, why are you going for the... Oh, as it gets down air. That's what I mean, man. This matchup is so... It's volatile on both sides because Rosa being, you know, a balloon weight character, mm -hmm. she's going to die a lot earlier to a lot of DK's kill confirms. Maybe not down air from the mm -hmm. bubble, killing her off the top, but say, like, you know, ding dong percent stuff. Um, yeah. Whereas Rosalina has such a uh, great offstage presence with Luma that she can just edge guard Donkey Kong for free, as we saw on the <laughs> first stock on uh, Mr. L's side. Yeah, right, bringing this back even. I'm just going to shortly go back to what I was saying. Oh, shield pressure like a Skittle. Um, but Metal pushes this message that a bad option is still an option. And you saw that from those two random down airs from Mr. L as he was landing. But it worked in the d no ding dong <laughs> oh, up air. <laughs> Catching an up air in the face, not throwing it from his own face. This is tense. Yeah, the bodies are definitely hitting the floor Ooh. right now. Ooh. That uh, down throw to up air, not going to connect. Uh, only getting a weak hit of the up air right there. If he got Luma elephant foot up air, that's definitely going to be enough to kill. He's dead. Oh, that's, yeah. Yep. Rosa's up smash being really, really good as an anti-air because she's so tall and the hitbox goes so high above her. And, um, you know, Mr. L, both times when Mr. L was forced to commit to his up B, he was pretty much a goner mm -hmm. at that point. So, But this is going to be a three out of five. So L sticking with his main DK right here. Um, you know, I like that he gave it the game one. He just won the set with Mario, so he figured, okay, I'm going to try yeah. with Mario. It's a heavyweight versus Rosa. L, tr um. L trying to not hold the L. Uh-huh. I haven't heard oh. that one before. I'm sure you have. Never heard that one before. It won't be the, wasn't the first time, and I, I can promise you won't be No, it definitely one. won't be. Yeah, but I think it's one of those. Oh, oh no. Oh. Ground control to Major Tom. That was, that was what, four or five up airs that he just took? That's not even, like, I don't even have enough time to warm up my leftovers in the time it took him to die right mm. there. Like... Yeah, I mean, ten, five seconds, ten seconds. That was, uh, 
Yeah, you, you gotta... Ugh. That was just bad. Again, the match might be over before you have your mac and cheese, dude. <sighs> then I gotta stir it and then put it in the microwave again. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> but, um, again, it's like, it's just Rosalina in a nutshell. Um, you know, you... <laughs> I think, and I think it's one of those situations where oh, Mr. L oh. would, ra would rather lose with his main than like get destroyed with his second main. Yeah, like you know, you, you, you know that that Bart Simpson meme where he's holding the cake that says "At least you tried." Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Throwing out the taunt. I see you. I see you, Mr. L. All right. So Mr. L already living past his thresh point of zero at last time. Okay. That so be very <laughs> special careful. clangs with Luma's down air. The more you know. Oh, okay. I'm just always so shocked by like you, you hit the A button and he pops up somewhere. He gets launched. It's it's so weird to me. Oh, don't get don't get pineapple, please. Is that curtains? No, not no, quite. No, yeah, Miss uh, Utopian Ray was forced to call back his Luma right there, or had already committed to calling back Luma, so he wasn't able to get in position to punish that. Uh, oh uh, man! There we go. Caught in no man's land, and that will be a. Is that a quick 3-0? 3-0. Oh, yeah, 30 yeah. and a handshake. All right. So that's, that's that's unfortunate right there. Yeah, he knows. I, I mean, I, I'm proud of the progress that Mr. L just made right there. Oh, yeah. Farthest Westchester player to make it in bracket where we had DK Dan and Ice in attendance. So that's pretty big for him. Um, and, and Leo in attendance. So so that's that's a really that's going to look really good for him. That's definitely going to help him. Yeah, I know Leo came from um, Brooklyn. Um, I'm not sure what part of New York uh, Ray comes from. Uh, does he live in New York?